Hello everyone. Hello and welcome to a brand new let's play. A a game a, a genre of games I don't think I've actually really done on my channel yet. <laughs> I don't know if I have or not, I can't remember. But an Agatha Christie game, a game that is the only one I've out of this series I've actually completed. A game that's actually really good but not really sort of like known to be what it is and it's Agatha Christie's and then there were none. A fantastic game in itself, a point and click adventure based on probably one of the best authors of murder mysteries to ever grace the earth in my opinion. Uh, Agatha Christie, I, I used to watch Paro when I was younger, I know that sounds a bit crap but I used to watch it with mum and I actually did enjoy it and the guy who played Paro was actually brilliant. I don't th Paro doesn't star in this though. Um, a lot of people may think he's French, he's actually Belgium. Um, so without further ado, um, I've got a couple of um, murder mysteries or, mur or um, adventure sort of uh, adventure games lined up. The other one I've got in mind is actually a blind LP. This is a blind, I have played it before but I haven't played it in quite a while. So it's probably, it's, I think it's not a very long game. But we're going to go for it and see what happens. Now I'm going to try and hopefully this game will run well. It won't speed up like it has been doing before. So without further ado guys, let's start. I hope my son's antics don't disturb you. Madam, were it in my power to sentence him to 30 days hard labor, they would not disturb me in the slightest. Smashing day for it. <laughs> On holiday? No. Oh, Leslie. Uh, it isn't true. Oh, oh big pardon, ma'am. Miss. Yes, of course, yes. Have to be, wouldn't it? Damn fool. I suppose I'll be expected to tend to his wounds after he piles up, but I don't fear that. to the cars. Young fool must lead a charmed life. That's a lot. My money's on the servants. The servants usually always the guilty one in the end. It's been a while since I've had this guy. I will admit that. Welcome to Sticklehaven, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Davis, the Harbour Master. Sorry. Waiting for me. That's everyone, then. The other bags are already on board the boat there. Blimey. It must be him. In the flesh. All set, Nerakos. Ready, sir. Right. I'll leave it to you then. Seize calm. Should be a pleasant crossing. If you leave now, there's a squall coming. I can smell it. Oh. Where's 
it called? Shipwreck Island? Well, the weather can turn nasty quickly. There are many submerged rocks, lots of wrecks hereabouts. And that big rock at the tip is said to resemble a beached schooner. The locals call it Ship Rock. You're not from around these parts, then, Mr. Naraka? No, sir. I'm not. Oh, it's actually not. Actually, right. It does look like a ship. It'll never work. If you would be so good as to follow that path up to the house, my wife will show you to your rooms. I expect you'd all like to freshen up after your journey. Where's Fred? Under the weather. I took his place. You'd be the brother then. I see the resemblance. Will you help me with the bags? Yes. I've been hoping to get a look at the house. Oh dear. The house where so much happens during this game. Chapter 1. Ten little sailor boys went out to dine. One choked his little self, and then there were nine. Thank you for your assistance, Mr. Narakot. Everything and everyone nicely in place. I must say, I don't much like these clouds. I expect you should be heading back without delay. So, at this... Now it begins. Don't worry, Fred. I won't let you down. Oh, just a drizzle. It's going to get much worse. So you can't actually go in the house at this point. There's nowhere you can go. You actually have to go back down to the um, ship line here. But when you get down here, you'll make quite a nasty surprise. Someone wrecked my boat. Fred won't be too happy about this. So we're on chapter 9. Ten little soldiers went to dine, one choked himself and then there were nine. Mr. Narakar, why are you still on the island? Someone scuttled my boat. Scuttled? Wrecked, you mean? But who on earth would do such a thing? I intend to find out. But that means, who will come for us on Monday? Unless this storm lets up, no one. Dear me, dear me. Come in, come in. You'll catch your death out here. I must help my wife prepare dinner. I'll have her fix you up something in the kitchen. Okay, so Thank we you. got a chance now to look round a little bit. Where he's going to sleep, I'll never know. Ethel won't like this one bit. So let's see who's around. I'm sure someone is around. I shouldn't do that. I need to have my wits about me. All right. I shouldn't do that. I need to have my wits about me. No need to call unnecessary attention to my snooping. I don't need it, and I'm no pack rat. So it's a, it's a classic point in click adventure. If you go in here, your shot, Judge. Yes. You haven't left me much, I confess. I knew judges listened to confessions. I never knew they made them as well. Oh, some judges may have cause. Some doctors as well, I expect. May I ask you a question? You rude little fucker. This is not fucker. a time for idle chatter. So, you have to actually go to an area where like, there's um, footprints on the screen. You can't actually go anywhere else. May I interrupt for a moment? I take it you don't play snooker, Mr. Narakot. Otherwise you'd know well, you should be as still as Lot's wife. Locked. This house could be a little bit of a maze when I first played this game. I was a little bit confused as to where I had to go. So this won't be a long video necessarily. It'll just be a, a relatively short one. 
The door is locked. An upstairs, downstairs type of thing, I imagine. Let's go upstairs. See if we can talk to a couple of people in their rooms. It's locked fast. I don't think going through that would help. Either he's innocent, in which case I'd be grossly invading his privacy, or he's guilty. That and line surely seems to be a little bit pointless. To leave any evidence it it in his luggage. gives away the game that this is like a murder mystery kind of adventure game. Which you shouldn't really have that impression so early. I can't open it. It's locked. It's locked fast. Locked. My wife is indisposed and not receiving visitors today. Your wife, sir? What? Your wife? My wife, yes. Leslie. Oh, I'm sorry, my boy. I was wool gathering miles away. My apologies. <laughs> Must dress for dinner now. Send my orderly to me, if you will. I... No, 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 that's not right. What was I thinking? I must get ready for dinner now. Yes? Oh, Mr. Maricott, I had a question for you. Uh, have you heard anything in Sticklehaven about this house being set up as a guest house? No, Miss Brent. No. Mrs. Rogers hasn't either. And who are the Owens? I haven't met them yet. Uh, would it surprise you to learn neither have Mr. and Mrs. Rogers? It's odd. Very odd. Yes, you did that. If you'll excuse me, Mr. Narricott, I must make dinner preparations. Oh, Mr. Narricott, I thought that you'd left us. Someone scuttled my boat. Oh, but that's dreadful. Surely the harbour master will send another boat when you're missed. Not in this storm, I'm afraid. And even then, it won't be reported. Why ever not? My brother. He knew I might not be immediately back. I'm terribly sorry for your trouble. The Owens should be okay, arriving you shortly. Do that. I'm sure you can get a ride back in that boat. If you'll excuse me, I must get ready for dinner. Narakot? I thought you'd be long gone by now. That storm's getting pretty fierce. Somebody scuttled my boat. I saw Blore watching you like a hawk eyes its dinner. Could it have been him? Possibly. Get ready for dinner. Right, well, I'm just going to talk to the rest of these guys and I'm going to call this one a video. Once a bent copper, always a bent copper. Right, Fred? You're talking through your hat. You were the Purcell gang's inside man on the force, not my brother. Your brother? Don't try to kid me, Fred. There's still a handsome reward out for you. Fred is my brother. I'm Patrick Fane. No reason for me to believe you that I can see. There's still a big reward out for Fred Fane. You scuttled my boat to trap me here. You recognized me too. I saw it in your eyes. Only because Davis showed Fred the passenger list yesterday. I came my brother's place. We didn't think you might mistake me for him. Fred is eight years older than me. Look closely, Blore. You do look young. I noticed that. Thought it must be the sea air. You were taking the Purcells' bribes for years. After the Landor case, people began to ask questions. The Purcells needed what the Yank detective novels call a fall guy. My brother was framed. You were in the clear. Your whole story sounds like a detective novel. I've never stopped trying to clear Fred's name and put you in Dartmoor prison where you belong. Thanks to your greed, I may now have that chance. Maybe you're Patrick, maybe you're Fred. 
I don't know, and I don't much care. You're either a criminal, or you've been harboring one all these years. I wonder what my fellow guests will think of that. Go on, Mr. Narricot. Hop it. I need to prepare for dinner. It would certainly be noticed if I rifled through his luggage. I better not. Right, guys. Well, I'm going to call this a video. So, I'm going to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Drop me a like and leave me a comment. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye for now.